I got this comment under one of my videos about the right to birth control. Tabby said, thank you so much for all of this information. Could you do a video about credit cards? One of my friends mentioned that a woman couldn't open a credit card under her name until 1974. So let's get into that. The 1970s was pivotal for women and women's rights as well as civil rights because feminism is actually civil rights just for women. So in 1974, the Equal Credit Opportunity Act of 1974 gave every American woman, married or not, the right to open her own bank account or credit account. So it, uh, it outlawed discrimination by both sex and race in banking because before that you needed a male signature, um, either your dad or your husband, in order to open a credit card. And if you didn't have control of, over your money um, or the right to work, you were essentially controlled by someone else, namely a man. Now, obviously you can look this up, but I will give you just a little bit more information. So the Equal Credit Opportunity Act is also called the ECOA. So what is the ECOA? It is a civil rights law that protects you from being discriminated against by lenders based on any of the following reasons. Now, keep in mind, America was founded um, on racism and sexism. That is built into the cake of America. No, I'm sorry, the apple pie of America. So you couldn't be discriminated against for race, color, religion, national origin, sex, marital status, because um, that did play a part on how you were perceived and how you were treated if you were married or not and age and if you were receiving public assistance why did it become law the ecoa was passed at a time when discrimination against women applying for credit was common for example mortgage lenders often discounted a married woman's income especially if she was of childbearing age. Things weren't much better for single women either. Organizations that lobby for the passage of ECOA claim that mortgage lenders were more likely to deny credit to single women relative to other um, applicants. So if you walked in there without a man, you were not, go you were not getting any money or credit. Congress originally passed ECOA in October of 1974. When it was enacted, ECOA prohibited discrimination based on sex or marital status. And then, and then in 1976, that's when it further extended these um, for race, color, religion, and national origin and age. So that is a little bit about what feminism has won for women and other demographics. Jump in the comments, tell me what you think.